Hey, what is up guys? My name is Thomas Park. Today we actually have a new camera set up. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. I'll be posting the link to my camera that I'll be using from here on out uh, for the YouTube channel. This is a 4K camera and I do have some pretty nice lighting set up here. So let me know what you think down in the comments down below. But anyways, today, guys, we are talking about what you need to look for in the first month of using your VPN service or what you need to look for in a free VPN trial. How can you decide if the VPN is good or not? Now, this might seem like something that um, is easy to understand, but if you're a first time VPN user, um, this these things might not be as obvious. Um, the reason I am making this video is because I've seen a lot of people recommending services that I don't think are very good, and there are a lot of services out there that are actually much better. So first up on the list, guys, what do you think about the speed of your VPN? The first thing you're gonna to have to do is go to a website like speedtest.net and you're gonna to wanna to test out the VPN speeds to make sure that you're getting speeds that are good enough. And now, of course, with a VPN, you are encrypting your internet traffic. So there is gonna be a slowdown with your speeds, but if you pick the right VPN, you might have not that much of a decrease in speeds where some other VPNs are gonna have much slower speeds. Not every VPN has the same speeds. And this is something I think people don't really consider enough. Um, some VPNs have tons of servers, um, which means you're going to have more locations to choose from, increasing the chance of getting good speed. Whereas some VPNs don't have as many servers. Not only that, but the servers they pick and how many people they put on each server also influence how speeds are delivered to you. So these are all things that you need to consider when choosing a VPN. So if you, you're finding that you have pretty slow speeds, chances are you can find a VPN that has faster speeds. Now you might be wondering, what is the fastest VPN that I've tested? Well, the fastest VPN I've tested is Torvar. You can find that in the description down below. Um, but some other fast VPNs are IPVanish, Private Internet Access, things like that, Winscribe. Um, these are some of the fastest VPNs I've tested. But again, Torvar ranks at number one in terms of speed. Surprisingly, some of the most expensive VPNs out there, like ExpressVPN, NordVPN, HideMyAss, CyberGhost, some of these VPNs, uh, PureVPN, are not actually as fast as they would lead you to believe, which is weird because they cost the most money. Another thing you need to consider, guys, is torrenting. Does your VPN support torrenting? Is it going to be fast enough for torrenting? Not every VPN supports torrenting. In fact, some like TunnelBear just flat out don't let you do it. Now, a lot of VPNs, they might test well in the speed test, but when it comes to real world speed um, through something like torrenting, uh, you might find that your VPN doesn't deliver. So in the first month or trial that you're using your VPN, make sure to run it through its paces to see if they can actually give you decent speeds while torrenting. Now, um, if you're discovering that the speeds aren't that good and they're significantly decreased, then you might not be wanting to use a VPN at all. Um, so I would definitely recommend um, finding a new VPN that's gonna help you stay secure while you're torrenting still. Another thing you guys wanna watch out for is streaming server support. Does your VPN work with Netflix? Does it work with Hulu, Amazon Video? Um, not every VPN works with these services and the reason is that these services are pretty strict when it comes to how you use VPNs or proxies with their services. Um, we even see websites like Craigslist blocking VPNs. So you might want to test your VPN out with some of these services or maybe investigate how your chosen VPN um, allows you to access some of these services, whether you have to pay extra or not, or how reliable it works. Um, now, some of the more expensive VPNs offer, you know, automatic unblocking. Um, but um, if you're not purchasing something extra, a large majority of the cases, um, you're going to have to deal with block services more often in that um, Netflix is going to semi-regularly block IPs from, you know, these VPNs that automatically let you access Netflix. Whereas you have alternatives like TorGuard, which sell you a dedicated IP for a small price, which pretty much guarantees you access and it's actually cheaper than some of these other expensive options out there. So there are different options available and you have to consider which one you want for um, if you are interested in streaming. Another thing to consider, guys, is simultaneous devices. How many devices do you need to be used simultaneously? So if you have a family, two, three, four people using VPN at once, um, some VPNs aren't going to support that many users. Or maybe you want to have the VPN active on your iPhone, your iPad, your computer, maybe even a Fire Stick or something like that. Um, these kind of simultaneous device and use adds up, so you're going to have to be careful. Now, most VPNs have around five simultaneous connections or so, which I think is a good standard 
So just keep a lookout for that. You can find the information on most VPN websites about that. Now guys, you do want to look out for the logging policy. Now for most people out there who aren't super privacy advocated or you know paranoid, you might be saying like, oh well, who cares if this VPN collects information about myself? Well, if that is your idea, then I wouldn't even really suggest using a VPN. Anyways, when you're using a VPN, I suggest not holding anything back in that you should expect the best from your VPN. It should have no logs in that. It doesn't collect any information about your use. What are you paying for after all? Um, it's not a free VPN service. If a free VPN is collecting logs on you, well, that's understandable because it's free. But if you're using a paid VPN, don't accept any form of log because you shouldn't have to. Um, you want to find a VPN that doesn't have um, logs. So if something has connection, logs, timestamps, things like that, well, I wouldn't suggest using that VPN. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this video about some of the best VPNs to use and some of the best things to look out for when you're in that first or trial period. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments down below, and I'll see you again on the next video.